Hello, this is Flights in Asia. In this video, we'll be heading to Japan, where unfortunately, after years of development, Mitsubishi is ending its dream to build the first domestically produced commercial aircraft in Japan in decades. Revealed late last week, Mitsubishi is ending the SpaceJet M90 program. For those who are unfamiliar with the SpaceJet program, it was Japan's first commercial aircraft entry in decades. This is an aircraft development I have previously covered in videos past, and I will be linking them in the description below. In short, Japan's first commercial aircraft entry in decades is a regional jet similar to Embraer's E-Jets. Looking to develop a commercial aircraft, Japanese conglomerate Mitsubishi launched a program in early to the mid-2000s as the Mitsubishi Regional Jet before renaming it to the Space Jet. The Japanese homegrown aviation project generated interest from the local airlines such as All Nippon Airways and Japan Airlines. At its peak, the project received orders for 200 of the aircraft. However, after a fast start, the program would be mired in delays before the first prototypes of the aircraft was built. Mitsubishi was able to get the aircraft into the testing phase in the late 2010s. However, the biggest challenge came amid the COVID-19 pandemic which resulted in the project getting a reduced budget and development was paused in late 2020. After more than two years of silence and no updates related to the project, we now have the final update of what is the fate of the space jet program. The ending of the space jet program was announced by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries during a presentation for the financial results of the third quarter of the fiscal year 2022. In its presentation, Mitsubishi revealed several reasons why the program was being discontinued, including factors including such as technology, where partial revisions were needed due to prolonged development. And Mitsubishi was looking for solutions for the decarbonization of the aircraft. Mitsubishi also raised questions of itself regarding the market fit for the space jet, pointing out the difficulty in obtaining understanding and necessary cooperation from global partners. Also, Mitsubishi experienced difficulty and little progress on relaxation of scope causes, conditions related to aircraft number and size included in airline labor union agreements, especially with regional airlines in the U.S., which resulted in not being able to meet the needs of the North American regional jet market. Adding to the questions of the viability of the aircraft, Mitsubishi also pointed out to the recent pilot shortages and further extensive funding was needed to continue the type certification for the aircraft. While Mitsubishi acknowledged the challenges which led to the end of the space jet program, the company also highlighted its own experiences and achievements which could be beneficial to the Japanese aviation industry. Mitsubishi received orders for 200 of the aircraft, and the space jet completed over 3,900 hours in flight tests with no safety issues and received its type certification in Japan. While discontinuing the space jet program, Mitsubishi is continuing with other activities in aviation, including its works with Boeing and Bombardier, along with Japan's FX Next Generation Fighter program. Like many, this was an aviation development project I was rooting for, especially from Japan, home to major industrial giants who are globally renowned for innovation. While having experience in aircraft production, it seems that Mitsubishi was a bit overwhelmed with building a passenger aircraft for commercial flying. In its own lessons that it learned, Mitsubishi pointed this out as it had insufficient understanding of the type certification process along with the necessary long-term funding for the project. And in the COVID-19 pandemic and Mitsubishi had to rethink their strategy and whether to continue with the space jet going forward. I do see this as a setback for Mitsubishi, though I won't be surprised if the company tries again at a later time to develop a commercial aircraft. In the future, they may be able to use new technological developments ahead of what we see in modern aircraft today which hopefully with experiences and existing partnerships lead to the successful development of a new commercial aircraft locally produced in Japan.
What are your thoughts on Mitsubishi ending the space jet program? I definitely would love to hear your take, though in the meantime, this has been Flights in Asia, highlighting the news and updates from the aviation and travel scene in the Asia Pacific. For more or the latest updates, you can check out the website at www.flightsinasia.com. In the meantime, thank you for watching and have a great day.